You're not gonna look at your card. Well, how are you gonna know if you can beat my straight flush? Hey, what's up, guys? We are the Chain Lift. We are back with another coaster spotlight. If you can't handle that, stay in the porch. Yeah. Superfly Jimmy Snuka. Also, I don't have any hands. Hilarious. <laughs> We're going to be talking about Renegade, located at Valley Fair. We're going to give you the stats of the ride, the history of the ride, our thoughts on the ride. At the end of the video, we're going to give it a rating on a scale of 1 to 10. All right. Mm -hmm. First off, the most important stat. For this particular fish. This is Fish's <laughs> favorite coaster. It is. Our friend Fish. You love this coaster. You love this coaster. Yeah. I had the pleasure of riding it front row with him. <laughs> All right. Renegade, opened in 2007. Uh, 6.5 million? Mm -hmm. 6.5 million. Steel. That's a... Heck of a deal. It's a hell of a deal. I used the cuss word. I thought about it, but I uh, <laughs> called an audible at the last second yeah. in my brain. All right, Peyton Manning. <laughs> uh, it's a height of 98 feet, a drop of 91 feet, has a length of 3,113 feet, top speed at 51 miles per hour, which it feels like it's going 100 the entire time. Yeah. Uh, it is an out and back twister coaster. And uh, GCI did this. Yeah. Great Coasters International, and it has those wonderful Millennium Flyer trains. Yeah, really comfortable trains. God, I love those trains. Yeah. All right, let's talk about Renegade. You, sir, go ahead. Yeah, I'm a huge fan of GCI coasters. Yeah. I had a lot of expectations and excitement going to Valley Fair for the first time to ride it, and it, it met my expectations easily. Um, GCI, they make great coasters. They know how to build a good layout. Um, Mystic Timbers was my favorite GCI coaster. And it still is. <laughs> oh, you have to, you have to well, hang, hang But Renegade, it's really great. It's really solid. It might be my second or third favorite GCI. Um, the layout is fantastic, particularly that first S-shaped drop. It's so cool. It's so unique. Uh, it's like a really cool sensation, like going down one way and getting pulled to the left at the last second. It's cool. Yeah, uh, it's sort of like a, it's a little more out and back, obviously, but it's sort of like a smaller Thunderhead in a lot of ways. It has a lot of, like, the big overbank turns, and it has a lot of, like, the quick, like, lateral shifts. Yeah. It uh, definitely has, like, that twister coaster uh, style to it. Sure. Uh, more than, like, Mystic Timbers, which is more of a just a straightforward out and back coaster. Yeah, yep. yeah. Uh, I prefer this over Thunderhead, actually, by mm -hmm. quite a bit, but... Mm -hmm. uh, this train, it goes, uh, this train, this ride goes 51 miles per hour, but it feels like it's going 100 at all times. Yeah. It never loses speed. No. no it, like, you fly into the brake run, even after all, like, the overbank turns. Yeah. And that's what, that's what this ride does best. Yeah. You know, if, if you like the outer control feeling, you want to do the back roll for sure. Mm -hmm. Because it really, it really hauls through everything and it really pulls you through all, all these quick bank lateral overbank over turns, these short ones close to the ground. It's really impressive. Uh, GCI does it again. I mean, they really, they really did. Yeah, that's one thing that they really do well is with their coaster layouts. They're never the tallest, they're never the fastest, but they do a really good job of building a coaster that maintains speed throughout the ride yep. and maintains intensity throughout the ride. Um, so they like they take full advantage of of it. They keep all that in mind when they're designing it. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, and the Millennium Flyers are so comfortable, yeah. even. You know this ride; it could be rough. Mm -hmm. You know it's been oh, it's been up since what fourteen years now, yeah. and it's still relatively for what it is. It's still like it's still pretty dang smooth. Mm -hmm. I mean, you still get a little, some of the shaky woodness, sure. but it, it's it really is an engineering feat. It's yeah. just it's impressive. Uh, my only complaint is it's hard to get footage of this thing. Oh it's, yeah, it's all just front loaded. Like the rest of the ride, just it goes out in the back of the oh, park in the midway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Similar to like the Beast at Kings Island. Like you can really only see the very beginning and ending of the ride. Uh, another awesome thing about this ride is it has a station flyby. It does, which it is really cool. I like the station flyby. Yeah, it, it, of course, Thunderheads. You actually go, go through in, the station. Yeah, but they go. This goes right in front of it. it yeah, it looks it. It really makes the ride look appealing. It looks mm -hmm. so good from the midway walking through the Renegade sign. You see this train flying by you. Yep. 
you see you see the lift hill off to the right. It's it's such a cool area. It is. The whole ride looks great. I love the trains. I love the I love the colors of like the it's like what the it's like copper like, navy blue on the trains. It's beautiful. Yeah. I love the Renegade logo on the front. It's great. There, there's really like it kind of has everything for you know it has all the twist elements if you like more of the laterals yeah. and the quick turns and speeds, but it also has some like quick like airtime moments and bumps mm-hmm. and injectors. It's it's yeah. really built for everybody. It's it it's is. excellent. Yeah. I agree. It doesn't do one thing great. It does a lot of things very good. That's yeah. the best way to describe it. Yeah, game. I agree. That's that's a g- great way to uh, describe it. It's All right. Right. I'm going to give this coaster on a scale of 1 to 10. I'm going to give it a 8 out of 10. Ugh. I love the coaster. It's a lot of fun. Didn't blow me away. But it's a really solid coaster. Um, it uh, could be debatable. The best coaster at Valley Fair. Um, a wild thing. Yeah, that or wild thing. Yeah, or corkscrew. <laughs> but it's it's definitely worth checking out. It's one of the better GCI coasters that I've been on for sure. Um, so eight out of ten. All right. Uh, for me, it is an eight and a half out of ten. It is my second favorite GCI. I prefer Mystic Timbers over this, uh, but uh, uh, but Renegade exceeds Lightning Racer to me. Mm-hmm. It exceeds um, Thunderhead. Yeah. Wildcat, yada, yada, yada. Prowler. Prowler. Yeah. Uh, it's so good. Mm-hmm. You know, it, it's, it really is kind of a shame that it's kind of way up in Valley Fair, and not yeah. a lot of people get a chance to go up to it. If you do, though, absolutely go. Valley Fair is a really fun park. It's Wild Things is a really good Morgan. Yeah. There's there's a lot to like about Valley Fair, so even just go visit Valley Fair. Yeah. Minneapolis has a lot to do. It's a great park. But, uh, Renegade, like I said, mm-hmm. it's, it's, it's so good at, at a lot of things. It's comfortable. The trains are great. GCI yeah. is elite. Yeah. Eight and a half out of ten. Renegade. Solid coaster. Okay. All right, guys. You can find us on Twitter and Instagram at The Chain Lift. Mm-hmm. You can also find our merch store at thechainlift.com. Yep. Make sure you follow us and subscribe to our channel right here on YouTube. Check out our podcast. Smash today. that like button. Smash the like button. <laughs> Smash it good. Mm. Leave a comment if you've been on Renegade and let us know what you think about it. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. And we will see you in the next video, or we won't. Hey, Murray, uh, I got next week and off. I'm going to go disc golfing. <laughs> he does. Rude. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> see ya. I didn't think you had it in you. I'm your huckleberry. Why, Johnny Ringo. <laughs> <laughs>